So one of the things that I get asked often is um, about things that are called meditation. For example, if you are doing a walking meditation, often the, I know that there's a group in Oshawa that actually does walking meditation. And so people come and ask me and they say, well, um, this is meditation. It is meditation in the sense that me the word meditation means focused thought. If you're focused on something, you are meditating on it. But um, what happened to Caitlin? Okay. Caitlin, are you still here? No, she's not. Oh, I don't know what happened. Uh, hopefully she'll be back. <laughs> okay, so going back to the question, a lot of times I get asked this question, what is, um, you know, if I'm doing a walking meditation, is that the same thing? How is silent meditation different from walking meditation? And I, I want you to know that meditation, the word meditation means focus thought to the exclusion of all else. There you are, Caitlin. I was like, what happened? My my Wi-Fi went out, so I'm currently using my cell phone as a hotspot. So um Oh hopefully everything is fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. so if you see me go again, I'm really glad that you're co host, so we're gonna shut everything down. I know, right? Yeah, so that's good. But I looked around and suddenly you went there and I was like, Oh <laughs> So if you see me pop out again, it my Wi Fi is being very Okay. Strange. No problem. <laughs> now okay, we know. Sorry, now we know. Now we know it's all good. So as I was saying, it is meditation in the sense that you are focused on something to the exclusion of all else. You are focused on something to the exclusion of all else. So yes, walking uh, uh, meditation is a meditation from that point of view. Tai Chi is a meditation from that point of view. Yoga is a meditation from that point of view in the sense that you are supposed to be focused on what you are doing. Focused thought, the word meditation means focused thought. However, it is not meditation in the sense of the word that we mean, which is renewing and reestablishing our connection with the universe. The reason is as long as any of your five senses are still connected to the world and you are getting information from your five senses, then that is not the meditation that we practice here where we are opening up our channel of communication with the universe. That's the difference. So what Tai Chi is and what a walking meditation is and what yoga is, they are meditations that help us to become mindful and completely present in the now moment. So they are step one leading into meditation, but they are not, they are not meditation in the way that silent, seated, silent meditation allows you to do. So silent meditation brings you deeper into meditation and clears your channel of communication with the universe. You see, the reason is if you're walking, you're paying attention to where you're going, right? So a walking meditation where they walk, you know, like in a big gym or something, they'll walk on the periphery. And the, the thing is you're still, you're walking, which means that your senses are engaged. You have to know where, you, are you walking into a wall? You know, like your senses are engaged. But you're mindful in the sense, or you're meditating in the sense that you are completely focused on the action of walking. And when your thought wanders, you bring it back to walking. So if you look at meditation from that point of view, 
then playing hockey is a meditation. Any sport is a meditation. Running is a meditation because you are so focused on that action to the exclusion of all else. So yes, they are meditations. However, they are not what we mean and, and the space that we want to get to in meditation. Um, I've often encountered people, so I encountered this one gentleman who joined one of my groups and he said he was teaching meditation. So I, I'm always curious, wanting to learn from other people. So I asked him, okay, so, you know, share how, how do you go about it? What's your method? And he said, well, we sit together in a circle and we breathe. And I said, do you have your eyes open or your eyes closed? And he said, well, we have our eyes open, but we just breathe and we just focus on our breath. And I'm like, yes, that is meditation in the sense that you're focused on your breath, but it's not meditation in the way that you are connecting to the universe to receive guidance. Because that kind of meditation means absence of thought. Mindfulness is still thinking. Meditation is the absence of thought. When you go, when you fall into that deep hole between, in the space between our thoughts, you're not thinking anymore. There is no thought in your mind. It's, it is an empty void. You, you have not a single thought in your head, but you feel so looked after. Your well-being is so obvious. And, and the thing is, as long as your eyes are open, you see, your eyes are the mechanism through which you collect. 70% of your distractions are because of your sense of sight. Because there's so much going on in the world around us. Our sense of hearing and our sense of sight are our strongest senses because we are collecting most of our data about our environment through these senses. For those people for whom one sense is absent, for example, those people who don't have the, um, uh, the gift of sight, then their hearing replaces that. All their distraction comes through their hearing and through their sense of smell. So unless you take your five senses and away from your environment and point them inwards, you're not really opening your communication channel with the universe for the purpose of receiving guidance. And the thing that happens when you open yourself up to receiving guidance is that you start making better decisions about everything in your life. Because you have clarity. Because you're acting on information that is not limited to what your mind can, can come up with because your mind has limited resources. Your mind cannot see all. The universe sees all. And so what we do is our thoughts clutter that channel. I almost, I look at it as a conduit. It's like a pipe, a pipe that is connecting us with the, with the universe where all knowledge of everything is held. As long as we are thinking, and for those people who are A-type personalities and their minds are going in a whir like that, I used to be like that, so I understand that very well. Your thoughts are going so fast in your mind that it's, it's constant, 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 constant information moving through your mind. Source doesn't have the opportunity to get a word in. Right? So universe is sending you guidance all the time, but because your head is so busy, you can't hear it. So for you, it does not exist. 
This is why A-type people make their lives so miserable. Because they are so busy doing their own thinking, they are not listening to the guidance that is available to them. It is available. But it's like you and I, and I've had this experience. Actually, I had this experience and it put me put things into context for me is when you're talking to someone who is just going on and on and on and won't let you get a word in. And that happened to me one day and I thought, oh, I guess that's how the universe feels when the universe is trying to talk to me. You can't get a word in. So as long as your five senses are functioning, you're thinking about more than just walking. You're thinking about where do I have to turn? Where is the wall? Am I going to bump into the next person who is walking in front of me? You are, are there any obstructions on the ground? You are thinking all of these thoughts. So that communication channel that the universe wants to use in order to communicate with you, that communication channel is cluttered with useless information a lot of times. Right? I don't care what someone else was wearing today and how they looked, but that information is cluttering my head. Right? I don't care. I mean, I don't care because it has zero impact on my life. What is going to happen in the next episode of the sitcom that I just watched? It's useless information. It's not guiding my life, but it's cluttering up my mental space. So the universe is trying to say, Zara, listen, this is what you should do. And Zara's thinking, yeah, but I don't know what that character is going to say to that character in the next episode. You know, like it's a, it was a cliffhanger and Zara's just not listening. So that's why we meditate. Because when we meditate, silent meditation meaning we cut out the distractions that are coming from here, from here, from here, from here. We are cutting out all those distractions. Now that communication channel is clean. It's clean and clear and we can get that information that is being sent to us. We can download it. It's, it happens to us in our, uh, when in our internet uh, usage all the time. If too many, too many things are going on in the house, too many people are accessing the internet, it slows down. So your guidance slows down because your, your speed of processing information reaches its max just because of the thoughts you're thinking. So you don't have the capacity to receive. 